A Leslie Voman is being hailed as a hero after rescuing the woman allegedly being held hostage by a sexual predator. Ana Blajo speaks with the good Samaritan who risked his life to save that of a complete stranger. A woman was crying for help. I walked up to the porch where I heard it and uh, thinking it was a medical emergency or something, but I couldn't see what was wrong. Peter Hamilton lives a few doors down from this home on Leslie Street. He was walking his dog early Sunday morning when he heard cries for help coming from the house. What he saw and heard once he approached the front porch shocked him. There was a woman there who was, she was forcibly uh, restrained. She had restraints on her hands and legs and uh, she was naked from the waist down and she said right away that she had been kidnapped and uh, held hostage for five days. Hamilton says the woman told him that the man who had allegedly kidnapped her was still in the house and had a gun. But Peter stayed with the woman and continued to help her. I did not have a phone with me, so I couldn't phone, so I stayed. And uh, I tried to get her out of the restraint so I could remove her from the scene, but that was proved to be more difficult. I couldn't really lift her because her hands and legs were both bound. It was very hard to do. So I just tried to get the restraints off of her. Hamilton says the accused was apparently asleep upstairs and it was the commotion that brought him to the front door. Hamilton says he came face to face with the man Toronto police are accusing of several disturbing acts against the woman. Hamilton wasn't sure what was going to happen next, but says the man bolted. Some passers-by um, were walking along, along the street here and uh, I was able to flag them down. And, uh, and ask them to call 911. Police say a 27-year-old sex worker had met a man in the Sherburne and Shooter area on March 31st. She agreed to go to this home on Leslie Street, but when she wanted to leave, police say Réjean Perron allegedly held her captive for five days and repeatedly sexually assaulted her. Although Hamilton seems calm about everything that happened, he's glad he was there to help the woman. A lot of trauma and she was shaking and uh, she was she was saying uh, thank you and I'm so sorry to have to put you through this. And I, I, that was the hardest thing is I, you know, what are you sorry for? Peter Hamilton is reluctant to call himself a hero. While he admits he put himself in a dangerous situation, he tells me he wouldn't hesitate to do it again. On Leslie Street, on Avlacos City News.